What's going on guys, I'm Jody, this is Inspire Woodcraft. Today I've got a really cool trick here at the table saw to edge joint material. I'm not gonna use a joiner, I'm not gonna trick you by using an actual hand plane. We're going to use just the table saw and a piece of plywood to turn this into an edge joiner. Now material wise, what we want for this little trick is something preferably engineered. So something that has a stable, solid, straight edge on it already, like a piece of plywood. Uh, you could use a piece of melamine shelving. You could use a piece of MDF, but we want something with that nice factory straight edge on it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut a four or five inch piece off of here at the table saw. Then I'm going to recut that same piece, only taking off the amount of material that my blade is thick. I'm gonna do that about two thirds of the way down, then I'm gonna stop the machine and I can move on to my next step. So after my blade stops moving, I'm not gonna move my fence. I can simply pick this up and turn it over end for end. Now before I actually set this to the table, I need to know the material that I'm cutting here. This is a piece of stair tread. It has a bit of a curve in the middle here and I wanna joint this edge. And you can see that I've got a gap in the middle even though I'm touching here at the ends and that's what we wanna pull out of there. So I need to set my blade ahead of time thick enough to clear the material that I'm trying to joint. Then I can scoot that out of the way and I can bring this just until the leftover edge that we didn't cut through comes back and uh, just barely makes contact with the riving knife. That, that's not critical, but we just want it to come back. We don't want it on the riving knife because we'll actually pull this up a little bit. We just want to come up right about to the riving knife. Now I need to fasten this down. I can do one of two things, double side tape, or if you have a piece of plywood or something that's a little wobbly like this one is, so F-style clamps will hold this in place just fine. So that's literally all we had to do. We're ready to start running material through there. I have that piece of stair tread. It's got the bow in it going this way. I'm just gonna simply put it up against my new fence and I'm going to run this through. I'm gonna say it's probably gonna take two passes to get a nice straight edge through here. That's literally all it takes. Hopefully this is gonna show up on camera, but I now have no gap at all where I used to have that belly in there. So this is a really easy, cheap solution. Not everybody has a joiner. Now, of course, this trick isn't meant to replace a traditional joiner. A joiner is a very specialized machine. You're not gonna be able to do face joining with this trick, at least not that I know of, but for a decent board that is flat enough for your project, but it's got a rough edge or it's got a bit of a bow to it, this trick is gonna take care of you every time. This is also gonna be really good for job site fixes. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching as always. We'll see you guys in the next video.